Okay, and our final presentation um, this afternoon is coming from the Faculty of Arts and Science, Josine Lafontaine, who's doing uh, MSc in Biology. The title of her thesis is Assessing the Importance of Laterally Acquired Functional Traits in the Ecological Diversification of Aquatic Bacteria. And the title of her three-minute thesis is How Are Bacteria Evolving? Why Should We Care? Right, thank you. So today, I'm going to talk to you about evolution bacteria, and I'm going to show you that it's really complicated. I'll tell you why you should care, and finally, I'll talk a bit about how my research is trying to sort it all out. So I have a picture of a slide behind me. Now, when you think of a slide, a lot of things might come to your mind. You might think that they're fun. It might evoke childhood. You might think that they get dangerously hot in the summer. But for the purposes of this presentation, all I need you to keep in mind is that a slide is predictable. If something starts at the top, you know where it's going to end up. And when it comes to the evolution of big things like me and you, all a scientist has to do is figure out where things started and where they've ended up. They do this by comparing differences in genes, and no matter which genes they look at, they get the same story. Unfortunately, that doesn't work for bacteria. And the reason for that is bacteria have this ability to take their genes and just swap them across the species barrier. So they're going everywhere. And now, if you try to tell a story about evolution, instead of getting a consistent, unified one, like with a slide, you're, like, you're following a cow in a tornado, essentially. <laughs> And that's really complicated. So before you had one story, now you have a million stories. How do you make sense of them all? Um, and what scientists do is they avoid the storm. They try to find areas of shelter where evolution is acting in ways that are really predictable. And that gives them like the strongest signal of what's going on. But they shouldn't do that because there's things going on in that storm that are really important. Things like antibiotic resistance, things like learning how to infect new hosts, adapting to the environment, adapting to all the pollution being spewed out by humans. And these are all things that scientists should care about. But it's a million stories. How do you sort them all out? And that's where my research comes in. The genes that we would care about, they're conferring an advantage to the organism. And in that sense, their evolution is being directed by natural selection. So even though it's crazy and it's like a storm, it's not completely random. They're like Iron Man because they're in that storm, but they know where they're going. And out of a million stories, those are the ones that we should tell. We should focus on those genes. And what my work is all about doing is figuring out what those genes are so that I can tell a complete story of evolution in bacteria. Thank you.